Hello and welcome to From Milwaukee to Nashville. I am John Lewandowski. Um, our, my other host could not be here today. Um, he is busy doing other things, but I am here to give you the recap of the Florida Everblades game. First off, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. For, you can call them at 414-800-7585 or find them on the web at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Now, today, the Florida Everblades took on the Jacksonville Iceman. Shots on goal in the first period were 9-6 in favor of the Iceman, 12-8 in favor of Florida, 13-9 in favor of Jacksonville in the third, and in overtime, 1-0 in favor of Jacksonville. Total shots on net were 31-27 Iceman. Um, for Florida, there were 34 minute, penalty minutes and 10 infractions. And for Jacksonville, there was 46 minutes, 12 infractions. Your goalies for the game today for the Everblades was Devin Cooley. Um, he stopped 24 of 27 and had a save percentage of 87.097. Charles Williams for Jacksonville. Um, actually, I had that wrong. Devin Cooley was 27 of 31 um, with four goals against. And Jacksonville's goalie, Charles Williams, was 24 for 27 with an 88.889% um, save average. So let's get a little bit more into the game. Scoring in the first period for Florida um, was Miles Powell, assisted by Cole Sanford and Michael Hunterbrinker. That was it for scoring in the first. We go to the second period, and at the 353 mark, there was a Jacksonville goal scored by Christopher Brown, assisted by Brandon Gignac and Pascal Aquin. At the 12.02 mark, Jacksonville scored again, making it 2-1. to one. The goal by Aaron Nazarian, assisted by Travis Howe and Michael Kemp. Finally, in the second period, at the 17.13 mark, was an Everblades goal scored by Kyle Newber and assisted by Luke Nogard and Logan Roll, making it 2-2, two two, going into the third. In the third period, at 4.06 in, was a Everblades goal scored by Joe Pendenza, assisted by Cole Sanford and Colby Sissons. At the 634 mark into the third period was another Iceman goal, tying the game at 3-3. Three to three. The goal was by Christopher Brown, assisted by Trevor, Ham Ugh, Trevor Hamilton, I apologize, and Eric Bradford, um, making it Three, three, we go to overtime and 39 seconds into overtime was an Iceman goal by Pascal Aquin, assisted by Trevor Hamilton, making it 4-3 for the Iceman. Now I'm going to get into penalties. I saved that for later because there were a lot of them. In the first period at yeah, the 151 mark was Mike Zmalta, he was called for holding on the Iceman. At 4.05 for the Everblades, Logan Rowe was called for hooking. At the 7.12 mark for the Iceman, Travis Howe was called for hooking. At the 18.18 mark of the first period, Kyle Newber was called for fighting. Um, and all at the 18.18 mark are these. Jacob Friend, called for a game misconduct after a secondary altercation. Ian McKinnon got five for fighting. Um, for Florida, Zach Berzola called for fighting and also assessed an additional game misconduct for the secondary altercation as well. Um, and then Jacob Friend for fighting. That was all in the first period. Um, there were two fights in the game 
And that's where all those penalties came from. So we'll dive into the second period and Levco Copper for Florida at 320 called for tripping. Pascal Akeen for Jacksonville called for slashing. Um, at the 601 mark in the second was Michael Kim called for slashing. At the 656 mark, Michael Hunterbrinker called for interference. At the 950 mark, Travis Howe was called for roughing. And at the 1221 mark, Levko Cooper um, called for tripping again. So that's just the first two periods. Now we get to the third period. And for Jacksonville, Aaron Nazarian was called for elbowing. Uh, at 459 for Florida, Luke Nogard called for delay of game. At 539, Brendan Miller of the Iceman was called for roughing. Um, also at the 539 mark was a roughing for John McCarron with an additional two minutes on John McCarron for roughing. He kind of continued the altercation a little bit after that, got another two assess. Um, as well as Derek Lodermeyer called for holding the stick at the 15 minute mark. And then 39 seconds into the first overtime, Brendan Miller called for a misconduct, and that was all the penalties. A lot of penalties here tonight. Um, overall hard-fought game, your three stars for Jacksonville um, were Nazarian was the third star, second star was Brown, and the first star, Akeen, attendance was 3,826. And the game length was two hours and 34 minutes. Your referee was Alex Normandin, linesman at Tarrington, Yanozik, and Brady Fagan. Um, we also would like to congratulate two players on the Everblades. And those two players would be Stefan LeBlanc playing in his 200th career game. Congratulations. And Cody Soule playing in his 500th career game. So to sum it up, Jacksonville comes out on top four to three in overtime. And um, like I said, good game, hard fought till the end. And that is it for us at from Milwaukee to Nashville. We hope you enjoy this video and we thank you very much.